guys, it's Wade and Isaac here with Mud Crab Nilsson. This is a video update to wrap up 2022 and give you guys uh, an overview of what to expect out of 2023. So we're going to put timestamps in this video, so if you wanted to jump ahead to hear specifically about the things that you're interested in, you can do that. Um, but uh, otherwise, settle in and we're just going to get straight into it. Uh, so first thing we're going to talk about is Kravistan 2023. So this year's Kravistan event is going to be on May 26th weekend, so it's the 26th to the 28th at D-Day Adventure Park. Uh, this is our three-day airsoft immersion experience, and players camp on the field as part of a non-stop sort of game world. Uh, be sure to read the camping and uniform requirements on the website as they have changed. The factions for this year are going to include the Krab Rackies, the Soviets, the Kravistanis, and the Kravistani National Army. So be sure to read about each faction so you know what to expect and what you're getting into. Uh, if you come in a thematic kit that fits your, your faction and your role, uh, you'll get special in-game bonuses uh, like extra money and ammunition. Uh, and the full rules will be available uh, in the coming months. So watch the website and we'll put out announcements when those documents go live. Uh, by the time you see this video, you should be able to get on our website and buy tickets for Kravistan 2023. Uh, next thing we're going to talk about is our plans with Wargame Oklahoma, and I'll pass that off to Isaac. Uh, so we, we have decided to post uh, or postpone Wargame Oklahoma 2023 um, until next year. A lot of these decisions kind of came over this last year. Uh, Wade and I have kind of been talking about it and been talking to some of our staff, and um, we think it might be one of the best ideas uh, for, for our company this year. So you know we have a really small team of volunteers and staff, um, and they kind of deserve a break. Uh, they've been working their butts off, and uh, we really think that they should be able to get back in and play the game because you know that's that's why we did this in the first place. So uh, we wanted to attend events like Copperhead for many years, but we haven't been able to. Um, you know, we always fall on the same weekend. It's just kind of how it happens. Um, but because of event uh, event preparation and scheduling, uh, so we kind of thought about postponing it for that. And also, we've been hosting it on uh, Terry's birthday weekend for the past five years. Yeah. Uh, so we would kind of want to actually celebrate it not at the field for once. So. <laughs> um, uh, we're all kind of, uh, some of our staff's feeling a lot of burnout. Um, we're kind of feeling burnout of doing so many events and just being in the field nonstop. So we thought it would be the best idea for all of us to just take a year off and really think about what we want to do with the game and how we're going to rework the format with uh, the cow fence being in place. And um, we're kind of wanting to focus on trying to make Kravistan uh one a, a really great uh, experience for our players and and uh, until we can get that lined out this year we think uh, we'll just you know we won't worry about wargame oklahoma and just kind of focus on one thing at a time yep so now uh, it's not going anywhere no no it's not going anywhere um, we'll bring it back but um it may be at a different venue someday yeah too. hopefully at a different venue would be what we really want uh, that would be you know the the biggest thing we would hope for but uh with that being said um, some of you guys on this page know um, what uh, Joplin First Saturday Ops was, used to be in out at the old abandoned water park in Joplin. Um, so we have since lost that facility. Um, it's a huge ordeal. We won't worry about going into it. But we have actually rebranded this year as Mud Crab Mini Ops or MMO. Uh, so with that being said, we had last year we kind of kept the name of Joplin First Saturday Ops. And we did an event once to twice a month. Um, we'd have a turnout anywhere from you know 30 to 50 players, and it was a great time. Uh, but you know, with this year wanting to really focus on our staff and ourselves, we thought, well, you know what? Let's slow it down a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to do four one-day mini Milsom events. Uh, so uh, our dates for those, um, we have a Mud Crab Civil War, which is coming up March 11th, which actually pits myself against Wade. Uh, so that'll be a really fun time. Go uh, tan. Yeah, go green. <laughs> uh, you know, we'll have a lot of our friends there, and our, you know, our, our, our regulars will be out there to play, and it'll just be a really good time. So, um, and after that, we're going to have Operation Space Cowboy. It'll be <coughs> April 1st. Um, we're, we haven't really have, we don't have a whole lot of stuff on that yet, but uh, that'll be coming in the dates, you know, further closer to the event. Um, the next one is Operation Beach Meet, and because of a scheduling error in my part, um, that date is to be determined at the moment. Uh, so that leaves us the last one, which is Operation Pirate Wars, um, which will be on October 1st. Um, I'm especially excited about this one uh, because we're going to get Jolly Rogers and we're going to get some of the vehicles out there and make them into battleships. 
and it's just gonna be a great time so uh, with that being said uh, we will have rentals available on site um, for the for the event um, we'll have vending I have all you know I'm a mobile store out there the entire time and then each event that we have will be a swap meet so if you want to bring your stuff out you can bring your stuff out you know no big deal um, if you want to bring your stuff out and don't want to play there'll be a small fee of like five or ten bucks to give the facility um, other than that our prices are actually jumping up this year to thirty dollars a player instead of 25 um, but that does include all they play though so um, that's just some of the updates we had about um, airsoft side of things and uh, from there I think we're gonna jump into some paintball so I'll turn it back over to Wade here yeah sweet um, so this year we were planning on doing war game weekend again uh, that was our three-day scenario game that was inspired by all of our favorite scenario games like D-Day and Fool the Gap. Um, this one, you know, we we worked really hard on it, um, and 2022 is our first year for it, yep. and a lot of people really enjoyed the format. Um, it's more of a military-style paintball game, but we don't take things too seriously. It's all about serious fun, um, and you know, it's a it's really honestly a paintball game oh, unlike yeah. any other yeah. that's out there. Um, and we're super excited to keep it going. The dates for it will be September 15th to the 17th. So we hope to see you guys coming back. And you know, if you ever wanted to play paintball at D-Day Adventure Park, um, this is gonna be the event to go to. Um, because in the future, there, there's not going to be as many paintball opportunities yeah. out there. Um, and so, you know, this is kind of um, shaping up to be kind of the game to come to for your like D-Day family yep. reunion, yep. honestly. Definitely. Um, we kind of chose the dates of 15th to the 17th to uh, hopefully be a little bit cooler. I mean, mm -hmm. it's going to be September still, so it's going to be a little bit warm. Um, but uh, our dates last year really conflicted with Folda Gap, with it being so close. Mm -hmm. um, and we don't want to step on Eric's toes. Um, and we would like to go to Folda Gap too. And with our staff, sometimes it's hard um, to make those those dates work with them being so, so close together. So. Um, we're hoping to keep it just far enough away from Folda to where we can attend Folda as well, but that way you guys don't have to worry about uh, buying two tickets so close together. Yep. Um, the next thing is Pandemonium. So uh, Pandemonium is just like Wargame Oklahoma. It's going to be on hiatus until 2024, uh, temporary postponement. Um, but that means that you'll see members of the Mud, Mud Crab Brigade out at other events across the country. Uh, we've got groups going to Super Game. Again, we're trying to target Fulda Gap yep. um, and... A number of smaller uh, tournaments across the country uh, so we're super excited oh, about yeah. that um, th doesn't mean pandemonium is going anywhere either pandemonium will be around for forever yep and same with um, same with wargame Oklahoma uh, we're actually looking into the potentially of expanding into other venues yep. so if you're a paintball field owner and you want a really creative and one-of-a-kind paintball scenario um, to bring a crowd out to your facility reach out to us um, but you know we, we just focus on making really good experiences for our players and yep. so um, focusing down on Wargame Weekend this year and Krabistan is kind of the move um, I think I'll pass it back to Isaac he might have yeah. a couple things to say uh, from the D-Day Adventure Park perspective yep absolutely um, so we had a couple issues last year um, with some people not paying attention to dates uh, no big deal um, with it you know D-Day being a week-long event some people got mixed communications about what our event was um, we should make sure that we're paying attention to dates um, that are posted on our website. Um, they're always posted, and then you know they kind of tell you what days you can show up, and then what days are you know you're leaving. Um, but that's one of the biggest things we had last year was it's uh, the park is closed to the public on any day where there is not an event taking place. So we don't just don't go out there willy nilly because you think you're going to go look at the field and stuff like that. Um, only make sure you're visiting the park whenever an event is posted. It's true. Um, we do not own this facility. No. Um, we, you know, Dwayne is like a grandfather to us. Um, and, you know, we have the privilege of hosting our events out there and we, we help take care of the facility. And, you know, but, you know, that doesn't mean that, uh, you know, it's somewhere that we can even just go out whenever we want to. You know, yeah. it's, it's very important that you pay attention, not only <laughs> for your own safety, but for the mental <laughs> yeah. sanity of, yeah. of the field owner. Because if those kinds of things keep happening, he's yes. going to just shut the gates yeah. forever. Yep. So, And my mental sanity, because no one else gets to hear about it but me. <laughs> so I get the uh, the 45-minute, one-hour-long talk of, of why I messed up. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, But other than that, man, we're, we're super excited for the Year of the Crab. Um, watch out 
for our social media and our YouTube because we're going to be putting up some slideshows. And I know a lot of people have been kind of wanting an after action breakdown for um, Wargame Oklahoma Airsoft. Um, kind of some bad news on that is I had a hard drive failure um, and I've lost a lot of photos um, from that event. And so it's been kind of hard reconstructing. Um, but I promise we'll get something out so that you know um, how that game ended up playing and and kind of, you know, you can look at the pictures and, and kind of figure out how well your side did. Yeah, um, you know, pictures are the most important thing, you know, because you get to see yourself in action and stuff like that. But honestly, who who wins and who loses, it it doesn't really matter. Um, you're there for fun. You're there to hang out with friends. Um, and it's just a good time overall. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I think with that, that's probably about all we have to say. Yeah. I think that's about all we got. So I'm really excited for uh, 2023, um, not just for our events, but for us to be able to go attend other events um, and see people and hang out with our friends and actually be able to play for once. Um, we're, we're pretty excited and, and really looking forward to that. So yeah, if there's any games that you'd like to see us at, uh, post them in the comments. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you on the field. Yep. See you guys. Ha, 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 ha.